Hello Nation, I'm going to tell you something very exciting about the world of continuous glucose monitoring. CGM started over a decade ago, and up until just recently, every time you made a daily diabetes decision, especially dosing insulin, you are required to check your blood sugar with a meter and not rely on the glucose value on your CGM. Now, the FDA awarded the Dexcom G5 continuous glucose monitor that you can see on a monitor or get on your phone app, the non-adjunctive claim. What the heck does that mean? Basically, it means you don't have to check your blood sugar. You can rely on the glucose values on your CGM. And that frees up so many people from pricking their fingers. Who likes to prick their fingers 10, 12 times a day? Before I use CGM, that's what I had to do to even get somewhere close to staying in control. Now, there are a couple situations really important that you need to know when you want to really check your blood sugar with a meter and not rely on the CGM. The first one, if your symptoms do not match your value on your CGM, just test your blood sugar. And that's important. You might get an extremely high number on your CGM and not feel high and vice versa. You might get a really low number on your CGM say, I don't feel low, I better double check, especially if you're giving yourself insulin. Number two, you've got to really calibrate twice a day. Future generations will not require calibrations. Even way down the line, we're going to have a factory calibrated Dexcom CGM where you never have to calibrate. But for now, you got to prick your finger twice a day, enter that number in your CGM. Now, the one thing that's extremely, extremely important, you got to make sure you get the most accurate glucose test that you can to calibrate. Wash your hands. Don't use any of these fly-by-night, over-the-counter meters that are super cheap and not very accurate. You know, use the One Touch, the Contour, you know, the Freestyle. You want to use a standard meter. Now, thirdly, if you're on Tylenol, it messes up your values and it gives you an artificially high value. And lastly, if you don't see a trend arrow on your CGM, whether you're using the monitor or the phone, that tells you the Dexcom CGM is doing some internal calculation or some type of calibration. And so at that point in time, if you're going to be dosing insulin or doing anything important, then you might want to double check with your meter. It doesn't happen very often, but just want to be complete here, folks. So now I'm going to eat a cookie and I'm going to give myself, oh, you know, with my Omnipod, maybe, I know I'm not going to eat one. I'm going to probably eat the whole thing, even though I say I'm going to eat one. So I'm going to give myself three to five units based on my blood sugar. Oh, Jesus, it's not very good. And I might have to wait. And then I don't have to prick my finger. So long, nation.